What's up, Anar Talks? Welcome back to Empire's SMP. I woke up with a weird feeling today. That feeling led me to explore my land, and I found something awful. My flowers! They're red! The corruption must have leaked out of the box that I was trying to contain it in. What do I do? Do I pick them? Do I leave them? How can I fix this? Besides the normal corruption that I've seen before, there's lava now, and there's a very creepy banner hanging from my castle. What the heck? You know, whenever I met with a situation I'm unsure about, the spring has always shared its wisdom. Let's go over there and hope it can help with this. Oh, hello. Uh, it's me again. Would you be able to help? Guardian, our land has been touched with a dark spirit. Our flowers are turning red. They're wilting. They're dying. The darkness cannot reach the spring. You must find a cure. Travel to different lands and search for magical items and bring them to a place for brewing. Combine all the items you receive and find the perfect antidote. Carefully take the corrupted flowers and repot them. Keep the wilting safe in a greenhouse, tend to them, and restore their strength. That's not a bad idea. Hopefully I can make it work. For now, I'm gonna leave the corruption here and we'll go travel across the empires and search for some magical ingredients. Wait a minute, what's this? Urgent? Oh no, Jimmy. Catherine, I have a secret alliance meeting room underneath my cod statue. We will meet there when we gather to take back the Codfather head from Fwip. I hope I can count on you when the time is right to do so. From the Codfather. It sounds like war is coming. Oh, I'm not ready for war. But anyway, when we get back home, we have to find a better place to store this. Hi, Catherine. How you doing today? Not doing the best. The corruption touched no? my flowers. Uh, yeah, oh, it spread no. to them. And I'm trying to find a cure. So I was wondering if you had anything that might help. Um. So on that, I've I've been I've been you know we I have this lovely lovely block over here, the deep slate reds. It's be it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it, it is isn't beautiful. It beautiful. It, yeah, uh -huh. it is beautiful. Uh, so the corruption tried attacking it because the deep slate redstone is the only corruption allowed in here. Uh -huh. And then the so-called new corruption. And uh, uh, look at the results over here. It's a, it's a little bit interesting. What? Oh, don't you like my flowers? Oh, They're kind of prickly. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, aren't they, aren't they nice though? You've got a lot of those. <laughs> Yeah, they're nice. They're nice. I, I'm just a humble flower garden tender as well. But anyways, <laughs> um, the corruption of Zorzor tried attacking the the corruption that lives in here, and this happened. Oh, that's so. I think I think Ooh. they kind of repel each other. I okay. think at least mine doesn't like the other stuff. So I, I can loan you some of that if you okay. would like. If that would yeah, that, that would, would be help. great. Okay, yeah, come on over this way. Oh my. What. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. So if you find anything that works, um, please tell me. Yeah, I will. It even has a face now. There was one at my house too. Oh, I don't like I don't like no, that. No, I don't, I don't, I don't like, like it. That at I don't all. like it either. <laughs> Here. This this should be able to help. Those those oh. right there. You can hopefully use those. That'll be able to help. Thank you. Please please save the flowers. Thank so you that so I can much. Save yeah. my town. I'll see what happens and I'll let you know. Gem. Hello, Catherine. I need your help. Oh, you do? What do you I need do. my help for? My flowers were corrupted, and I'm trying to yeah. save them. I can relate. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, uh, yeah, what can I do? I, see that. I was instructed by the spring to gather magical items from across different empires, and I was wondering if you had anything that you think might help. Yeah, sure. You can have some of my crystals if you'd like. Actually, Ooh. I have one right over here. There you go. Straight oh, this the garden. Would be perfect. Okay. If I can figure this out, I'll let you know. Thank you so much. Good luck on your research. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Bubbles. You gotta give her one of these here. Come. Yeah, she what? doesn't like um, people unless they, you know, they gotta feed him. Oh, there you go. No, do it for real. She's not a fake dog. Oh wait, do I click on it? Yes. There you oh. go. I told you she <laughs> has meat. Sorry, <laughs> my brain.
brain turned off for a moment there. <laughs> Hi, yes, the, what do I owe the pleasure? This is great times. Sausage, I need your help. Oh, I got this. What, what you need? Um, so I don't I don't know if you know about this, but my flowers were touched by the corruption and I'm looking for a way to fix them. So I was wondering if you had any magical items you could share with me. Oh, corruption. Okay, anti-corruption of the magic. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Come, come, come with me. Yeah, I got something. I got something. Okay. How about fighting corruption with corruption? Do you think that'll work? Yes, but a different kind of corruption. Hold on, I got something. Okay, come over here. I got something perfect for you right here. Mm-hmm. This should fight any kind of corruption. It's blood sheep skin. Oh. Yes, you just put that, rub it on it twice a day, at least three times a day, every <laughs> six hours, and, and, and that should be it. There you go, and then let me know if that works. Okay, thanks. <laughs> it should be perfect. That'll fight any kind of corruption. The blood sheep magic is one of the most powerful dark arts in magical histories. So you got this. Okay. Uh, well, I'll try. Uh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy your blood sheep skin. Goodbye. <laughs> Scott. Oh. What? Ma, Hello? we went over this last time. Oh. If you knock a door, oh, oh. you wait until the person uh, answers. Knock, knock. <laughs> Hello. Please Hi. come into my home. Oh, thank you. There thank you. we go. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you today, aside from the home invasion? I'm gonna sit in this chair. Oh, I can't even see the plant. Okay, great, beautiful, hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, would you happen to have any kind of magical item or something you think would help fight corruption? Corruption? Well, I mean, as you can see, if you look out the door, I'm particu not particularly doing great with it over well, there. Well, yeah, no, me neither. Uh, <laughs> but, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to get items from a couple of different empires to combine mm -hmm. them to see if maybe it could be a cure. Okay, and um, let me have a look. The The main thing I'm thinking of, because obviously my main export's will, and mm -hmm. while it's high quality and the best <laughs> will in the land, not particularly magical. No. Um, but we do use a lot of gold in Rivendell. Ooh. And gold could have magical properties. Oh, so this would be great, thank that. you. Yeah, You're if anything welcome. cool happens, I'll let you know. <laughs> Shelby. Yes. Can you help me with something? What's up? What do you need? My flowers were corrupted. No, not the flowers! No, I know. I'm going around and I'm trying to find ingredients from people that might help fix them. Uh, would you have anything to help? Ooh. Ooh, I do! Follow me. I got corruption in my mushrooms too, but I've been working on getting them all fixed up and I've got a little magic mushroom. <gasps> Just uh, don't, don't eat that kind of mushroom. Oh, oh, okay. I won't eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Thank you so much. If anything You're happens, welcome. I'll let you know. Yeah, I hope you can fix your flowers. They were so beautiful. Me too. They, they all turned red. Ooh, all my yeah. mushrooms here, there's some of them are already red, but they turned all <laughs> like drippy, gross red. So yeah. I had to fix those. So good huh. luck to you and your flowers. Thank you. I'll keep you updated. Okay, I'm back. Let's gather up all of this corruption, fill in the lava pockets, and then carefully remove the flowers. For now, all of the bad can go inside of this box, and I'll think I'll hold on to this until I can figure out where to put it. Oh wait, we also need to get rid of this creepy banner! In the box you go. Now, we have all of these ingredients, but no place to combine them. So, I think we should build a brewing building! Da -da. We have a brewing building! On the inside, there's a chest with a notebook for taking notes and some glass bottles for potions. Over here, we have some candles. In the middle, we have a cauldron for brewing. And on the wall, we have our ingredients. Now all we have to do is find the right combination to make a cure. First, we'll add the redstone, then the crystal, the block of gold, the mushroom, and the skin of the blood sheep. <gasps> uh... Oops, I don't think I should have added the sheepskin. Let's try that again, but this time without the sheepskin. Okay, I fixed the floor and I put the skin of the blood sheep in this chest. I, I really should probably burn it, but um, it's fine there for now. But okay, take two, redstone ore, crystal, gold, and a mushroom. 
Is that better? Did it work? I guess there's only one way to find out. Now before I test this potion on my flowers, I kinda need a greenhouse. So let's go build one. greenhouse has been built. If we do a little walk around, this is what the outside of the build looks like. And for now, this is what the inside looks like. I made sure to add lots of windows. I also added like a ton of detail for literally no reason. I don't normally build like this, but I actually really like it. It gives a character. Now, I know this building is pretty empty now. That will change later. But as you can see in the middle, we have five flower pots for the five flowers that we're gonna try to cure. Let's carefully pot all of the infected plants. And now all we have to do is apply the cure. <gasps> it worked! This is amazing! We need to take note of this success and share it with the others. Let me just grab my notebook and let's see. It seems like the combination of magical items from various empires removes the effects of the corruption. Does this work on other things? Would this same theory apply to the demon itself? Could all of us together, with our items, prevent it from appearing? I'll do more tests, and I'll also collect every potable plant to ensure its safety. This is awesome, and I have so many questions, but I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye!